Next.js gives you an out of the box solution for creating layouts. And a layout is effectively just going to be some UI, some structure of your page, something that the user sees, some UI that is shared between multiple routes. And the way that a layout works is that you use a Next.js file convention and create a layout.txt ts tsx or jsx file and then you just export a react component from that file so very similar to how you would create a page.tx file but the difference with the layout is that the layout is going to be shared among all pages throughout that route segment and here we're looking at in my kind of demo application here this is going to be the root layout which the root layout is going to be required and it's going to be shared through all of our different route segments within our app. So if the user navigated to forward slash blog, forward slash dashboard here, it is going to see this root layout. Now, one important aspect of not necessarily a root layout, but any layout within your application is that it is automatically going to be past the children prop and then you need to make sure to render that children prop within your application. I'll show you what happens here in a sec if you don't do that. But just make sure that this children prop within your layouts is definitely something that you're going to want to make sure that you pass through and render somewhere within your layout. Now coming back to this root layout a little bit more specifically. So this is going to be defined at the top level of your application. So right within my app folder. It's going to be the top level layout. In my case, I'm using TypeScript, so layout.tsx file. And in the root layout, it is required and it must contain both an HTML tag as well as body tags. And when doing this, this can allow you to modify the initial HTML that's returned from the server as well. So in your root layout, the most top level layout, you're going to need to have one in your application. And then also you're going to want to make sure that this has the HTML and body tags. And that if you customize this layout, like I have here, that you make sure that you don't get rid of those tags. Cause those, those must be contained within your root layout. Now I'm going to show you the, the running application here and some examples of this in a second. But before we get to that, you could also create nested layouts. And all you do for this is very similar to how you add pages in Next.js. Within a certain route segment or a folder within your app directory, all you're going to do is create another layout.ts or JSX or TSX file within that folder. So here I have a dashboard folder or a dashboard route segment and then a layout.tsx file within it. I'm going to click on it here. And then this is going to be a layout or some shared UI that is going to be shared within all pages and routes within my dashboard route segment. So this layout right here within my dashboard, this is effectively going to wrap the page.js file within my dashboard, but it's also going to wrap my settings here as well as my about page. So dashboard forward slash about and dashboard forward slash settings are both going to contain the UI that is in this dashboard layout because this layout is going to be shared UI for everything within my dashboard route segment. However, in my blog route segment that is outside of my dashboard, this is not going to contain this, this layout here because it's a sibling of my dashboard. It is not contained within the dashboard route segment. And then we can take this further to where within my dashboard, we have a settings route segment. And then within settings, we have another layout. So this is going to be a layout that is specific to forward slash dashboard forward slash settings. So it's going to be UI that applies to my settings page within my dashboard route. And if I took this even further and say you had forward slash dashboard, forward slash settings, forward slash, I don't know, profile, 
then this layout here would apply to that profile page. And then just keep in mind that for this settings page here, all the way down with my dashboard forward slash settings page, this page is going to contain the UI for my root layout. So my root layout is going to apply to everything within my blog route segment, everything within my dashboard route segment. And later in this video, I'll just kind of roughly go over some things that are good to know about layouts. And then it's also going to cover my about page, my settings page and everything within there. Let's start with our root layout here and just look at what these kind of look like, the effect these have on a running application. So my root layout, it basically renders a header here with just a couple of links, a link to home, dashboard, and blog. We see at my home page here, Locos 3000, we see home, dashboard, and blog. So that is just my root layout rendering this top header component. Now here you see layouts, learn everything you need to know about layouts in Next.js. If we come back, that is actually the content of my home page here. Layouts, learn everything you need to know about Next.js. Now, what happens if I forget to render this children prop right here and I get rid of this? We see I don't see that content anymore from my home page. And the reason for that is because your layout is effectively a wrapper component around all of your pages in that route segment. And the root layout is going to wrap around layouts that are nested within your application. So the root layout is going to wrap around a layout in our blog. It's going to wrap around our dashboard layout. And our dashboard layout is going to wrap around our settings layout and our settings page. So these layouts are kind of like wrapper components. And when you use wrapper components, you need to make sure to render the children prop here or else you're going to lose the content of which the layout is wrapping around. So this is our root layout here. And if I go to my dashboard, okay, we're going to see some new stuff here. Let's go look at the dashboard layout. So here we see that it renders this dashboard text and then a settings and about navigation, which is kind of like this secondary header right here. And I'm not saying this is the best UI in the world. Uh, it's just for example purposes. But when we go to our dashboard page, we still see our root layout as you would expect, but we also see this dashboard layout, which is like this secondary header. Now, if we go further and we go to my settings page, we see another like little PC UI here. And if I go to my settings layout, you can see that this, it renders a side navigation or a sidebar here, which is exactly what you see right here along the side. So we, on my settings page here, dashboard forward slash settings, we still see our root layout. We see our dashboard layout because we're in the dashboard route segment or forward slash dashboard forward slash settings. But now we also see the settings layout and then just some content for my settings page. Now, if we come back to dashboard, you see, you no longer see the settings layout because we're not at the settings route anymore. And then if I go to my about page, which is just forward slash dashboard forward slash about, we don't, of course, see the settings layout or the settings sidebar because that's specific to forward slash settings, but we still see the dashboard layout as well as the root layout here up at the top. And then if we navigate all the way out of dashboard and we just go to forward slash blog, you see this doesn't have a layout of itself. It just has the root layout. And that's because the blog, it's not in the dashboard route segment. It's not in any other route segment that contains a layout. So it just has the root layout here. So fairly straightforward here for your layouts. You just create a layout.tsx or ts or jsx file. And then that is just going to be some shared, shared code that wraps around that given route segment. So the root layout is going to wrap around all of your different route segments for our layout within our dashboard folder. This is going to be a layout that wraps around all of our dashboard route segments. So it's going to wrap around dashboard page as well as 
our nested dashboard pages. So dashboard forward slash about, dashboard forward slash settings, and so on and so forth. Now for just a few things that are good to know here before we end this video, straight from the Next.js docs, I'm just gonna run through these, but if you want to check this out, I'll, I'll make sure to link the docs here. But as I've kind of mentioned, JS, JSX, or TSX file extensions can be used for layout. I might have been saying TS and TSX, but it looks like it is just these three file extensions. So if I was saying TS and not JS earlier, that is my mistake. It is JS, JSX, or TSX files. Only the root layout can contain HTML and body tags, and it must contain those. When a layout.js and page.js file are defined in the same folder, the layout will wrap that page file, which we, we discussed. Layouts are server components by default, but can be client components. Layouts can fetch data. Passing data between a parent layout and its children is not possible. However, you can fetch data in a route in more than kind of one place and react will automatically dedupe those requests so if you need the same data in like a layout and a child component you can just fetch that data in both of those and react will make sure that there's not multiple requests being made layouts do not have access to path name but imported client components can access the path name using the use path name hook layouts do not have access to route segments below itself to access all route segments, you can use you selected layout segment or you selected layout segments in a client component. You can use route groups to opt out specific route segments in and out of shared layouts. So say you have a certain route segment that you don't want the root layout to apply to, you can use route groups to do that, which I'll, I'll cover this in more detail in a later video. And then you can also use route groups to create multiple root layouts which is also pretty cool and we'll, we'll cover that more in the future. So just some good things to know there, but hopefully this gives you a good kind of overview of what layouts are and really it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's very similar to using pages, but just for more so kind of shared UI between entire route segments. So thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.